guys, it's Min and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you what's on my, can I have a drum rolls please? My iPhone 12. But before we actually get into this video, I have a few announcements to make. And don't worry because they're all going to be happy and good announcements. The first one is that we have reached... Pew, 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 30 subscribers! Thank you so much friends for supporting me by either liking it, viewing it, or best of all, subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy and it really touches my heart, so thank you so much, I really really do appreciate it. Now time for the second and final announcement. This one is also happy, so don't worry. So we've now reached 30 subscribers, but it would be really, really nice if we can reach 50 subscribers because that would really be nice and I really appreciate it. But not only that, I'll also make you friends a surprise video and I will let you know closer to time or it might just be a pop-up surprise video. So please help me reach 50 subscribers and I'll really appreciate it and be so happy. So I really hope you can subscribe to my channel. And if you do do it now, thank you so much. So let's get into this video. So let me start screen recording. Here is my iPhone. This is how it looks like. And I really, really love this wallpaper because it's this palm leaves shadow and it's an beige slash antique rose color and I think it's really pretty. I did find this from Pinterest so it's really easy to find it and all you have to do is search it up and you can write whatever you want. You can write an aesthetic image because there'll be so many options there for you. So now let me show you my home screen number one. This is how my first home screen looks like. It has a widget on the top and it's a Sunday the 28th which is today and I have my date there and then I have my apps in the rainbow color so I think I made it in this color because I did have that on my older iPhone which is my iPhone 11 Pro and you can also watch it unboxing for that and I thought it was really helpful because you can remember which ones are which so I think that's something that's nice and bright. So the first app I have is YouTube, then I have Pinterest, GarageBand, YouTube Studio where I can check all of my YouTube analytics. I have another widget which is an image and I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. I have another widget right underneath it on the left side. And then I have my calendars app which I find is a super duper helpful app because you can add all your reminders on there and it's so nice because it's totally free and you don't have to pay for it and I think it's so nice and helpful especially if you have a lot of appointments on a day. Next I have my health app which is also synced to my Apple Watch 35. I have the Apple Music where I love to keep my music. There are so many options you can have more than a thousand downloads and it's so mind-blowing. Next up I have the books app this is how my second home page looks like. It is in still in the rainbow order. And I have the home app where you can control all of your home devices and such as your home pod, your iPads, which you can have as as a home device. And I think it's a really nice app which Apple give you to use. I have the pages app where you can have your notes, tips app. Find My, which is Find My Device, as other people say, and that's where you can find all your devices if they're lost or if you just can't find them. You can have the Tips app next, which you get so many tips for iOS 14. So, as I do have my AirPods connected, there's so many tips you can use. There's a lot for iOS 14. Get to know your iPhone, which I think is my favorite because there's so many essentials in there and anything you must know. Next up you have the Numbers app and it's really cool because it's almost like Excel but it's Apple's version and it comes automatically on your iPhone which is so nice of Apple to do. And then I have the WhatsApp where you can do messaging. I have the Notes app, Snapchat, 
FaceTime, Maps, Photos and Mail. And then I have some widgets. And as there's been a lot of widgets already there, I think it's nice to show you my widgets when we get to it. Next up, I have a widget and it says be happy and smile because I love being happy and smiling because it's so, so nice. I have the weather app where you can check your weather. The app store app where you can download so many cool games or apps. I have the Apple Story app, which I use quite a lot because if you do want to purchase a few items, it's totally nice to use. Because all you have to do is get your iPhone, click into the app, find it, put your storage in, your color, and you're totally done. All you have to do is check it out, put your face ID, and you're done. It's so easy. So next I have the Widget Smith app, and that's where I have all my widgets. And... I think it's one of my favorite apps of iOS 14. So I'll show you how to make a widget right now. So if you want to use a medium widget, you can do that. And let me show you how I made my one. So I just added a widget, clicked onto it, and then went onto default widget and click onto it. So easy. And then there's something that says aesthetic slash theme. And then I don't like all these themes they have here, so I have to go to customize theme, and that's so nice to use because. There's so many options. Pick a writing. Mm. I really like typewriter, but I also like the New York writing. I think today I'll go for the Palatino because it looks different and also really nice. And then you can go to a tint color, which is white, and I always like that because it's nice and bright. Oh, got a message. Anyway, and then you can pick your color, and I'm gonna pick. What should I pick? Hmm. What color am I wearing? Pink. Let's put a pink. Comment down below what color you would pick. So I'll do pastel pink. And you can have border color. Hmm. Should I have black? Should I have grey? I'll put um grey for now. I know this doesn't match so much with my aesthetic theme, but I definitely think it's still nice and cute. And then there's something that says artwork where you can have so many, you can have something that says candy cane, which will like put stripes through it. And uh, if you do already have a white border, you can already just put that on, and it's so nice. And then there's something that says none, which I'm going to pick because I think that looks really good and matches as well with a lot of things. So save it, and then you can apply it to this widget only, or update theme everywhere, which will show put it every single place with your widget. And then go back. And here is your wonderful widget. Save it. But, whoa, 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 whoa. Before you do one thing, I definitely think you should rename it. So I'm just going to write it, hmm, date, widget, um, pastel, pink. So save it, and it will be already there. Now, let me add another widget. So... And I go right down to widgets smith. Put another medium. So there is my widget. Whoop, there widget went, but that's no worries. And then if you do want to change your widget, just go to done. Do a long press on your widget, edit widget, and there's so many you can pick. Boom, changed. But obviously I'm gonna get rid of that because I definitely think my other widget was Kita and looked much more better on my theme. And then I have my files app next, my clips where you can edit a few clips, Keynote app, iTunes Store, iMovie where you can edit and it's completely free, Shortcuts app which is such a good app because if you do want to do so many helpful things you can use the Shortcuts app because if you do want to like change your app picture I will show you how to do that now even though I don't use it it's super helpful so all you have to do is click onto your Shortcuts app, add a shortcut add action and then there's open app under it or there's a search bar under it and then click on to open app and then there's something that says open and then choose and what app should I use mm. I think I should do the tips app because it's so helpful and I go to next and then afterwards you can name it and I write tips two because I really don't want to have the same one and I'll be a bit confused. And then you can click onto the tips 
and also should make sure that I can take you straight away over there. And then once you know that I will take you there, go to the three dots, go to the three dots again, and something that says add to home screen. And then you can change your photo, and then you can just go to your Safari app if you don't have Pinterest, and write aesthetic tips app icon. Boom, there's so many. Which one should I choose? Mm, I think I'll choose this one because it's so cute. And it's from Pinterest. So that's something nice. And then I'll go to the tip, well, shortcuts app again. Click onto the shortcut. And there it is. Choose it. There it is and add it. And here is your tips app. So if you click onto it, take you straight to your tips out. Easy, right? Next up, I have the Instagram app, which I really love to use because I also have a Mintech account, and I definitely think you should check that out. And whilst I'm on it, I think it would be nice to show you my Instagram account. My name is Mintech Official, and it would have been really nice if you could follow me because that would make me really happy. And on there, you can also get notifications from when I post a new video by just clicking on to my story. And then here I have a brand new post and let me just show you and I definitely think you should go and check it out right now whilst you're watching this video. Can you do it? If you did, please put a tap on your shoulder. Well done! So now I'll be showing you my podcasts which looks like this and there I listen to so many Apple events and things like that so I think podcasts is a really wonderful app. And then I have this widget which I got from a picture from Pinterest and it's so adorable. When I go to my final page I have the clock app which you can have your alarms like that there. Your timers which I haven't used a lot yet because iPhone is still new but I do use it quite a lot for alarms and things like that. So yeah. Next I have the reminders app which is such a good app because I mean you can upgrade, but I don't upgrade because there's so much to do. And you can write anything on this. Let's say I'll write... Mm, follow me on Instagram. And then if there's someone you want to follow or if you want to do something, you can get a time by just clicking onto this little clock kind of looking thing. And then there's something that says today, tomorrow, that's right, today. And it will remind you today. And if you do do like a date and time, you can pick your date and your time. But of course, I'm not going to do it because, um... <laughs> so next up, I have my news app where you can listen to your news. It's like Google News for Android users, but it's so cool because it's already on your phone. Next up, I have the Apple TV app, which is one of my favorite apps because I do use Netflix, but I still love Apple TV because there's so many new movies such as, mm, which one should I say? There's one I'm watching and um, I can't remember what it's called, but they have super cool movies and they're all it's from... that kids one. Yeah, it's that kids one. What's it called again? Uh, wait, let me check it. It's so cool. Oh yeah, Central Park. Central Park is a cool movie and it's new by Apple and I love it and I definitely think you should check it out right now because if you are a child watching this, I think it's a really nice movie to watch and it's so fun. Next, I have the wallet app where you can add your Apple card. Next up, I have the contacts where I have all my contacts written down. I won't do that, well of course, because it's my privacy. And then next, I have my utilities. And in there, I have some really good apps I use almost every single day. My calculator, which you can calculate so many things. And it's so accurate. So if you write things like 522 times 2, it will become 1044. So accurate. And that's one thing I like about Apple's calculated apps. Next, I have voice memos where I haven't used yet because um, I don't use voice memos as much because um, I mostly use them on like 
my iPad because I don't use most of my voice memos. And also it's such a helpful app because you can record things for completely free. Next I have the Compass app, which I can dive around with. And it will tell you what is straight. So if you do want to, if you like moving your phone around and you want to be completely to zero degrees. Oh, oh. It's like that. <laughs> and that's so nice because um it's accurate. Next up I have the measure app. If I'll be like Sorry, able to I don't know that. Okay, my ex is going off, but anyway. Uh, next up I have the measure app, which I don't think I would be able to like have an iPhone without because it's so nice. So let me show you. So like if we continue to move my iPhone like hello. Anyway, um, that's how it looks like. And then you can have like this level, which I use almost every time I decorate my bedroom. So if you do want to have your things straight, you can like line it. So if you are like putting up something like a frame, which I sometimes do, like while I'm sticking these up, little cute sticker things. Um, I use my level to make sure they're level, straight, and you can like move your iPhone to make it green. It's so easy to use, and I think Apple may be really happy because of this app. And then next up, I have the watch app, and I haven't paired my Apple Watch yet because I'm still using my other iPhone a lot because. I just like switched a few weeks ago and I'm still setting up and I know setting up will probably take like Mim, why are you not setting up your phone in a day? You can easily do that by just pairing it from your old phone. Well the reason why is because I use my iPhone 11 Pro a lot, like still my phone. I use this phone a lot for like going outside. I use this phone as a normal phone but I use my iPhone 11 Pro a lot so my Apple Watch app and things like that are still there even though I think I should. Put it, pair it up and something new that does come with iOS 14 is that you can pair your Apple Watch for yourself or a family member so um, that's obviously not an Apple Watch but that's how it looks like and then I can put all my wallpapers there and I actually whilst I'm here I think I should show you the one I have such a cute cat from watchOS 7 next up I have the stocks app and I don't even know what that is and I don't even know why it's why is it even on my iPhone? Anyway, well thank you to Apple for the people who do like it, it's already downloaded. But for me, who doesn't even know what it is, I don't even think it should be on my phone, but thank you so much Apple for still installing it on here. And then I have the amazing, what is it? Translation app. This app, I don't know like I kind of do because it's such a fun game. It's, it's not a game, but it's a translation app. But we play it with my sister almost every single day because even like she's sometimes like learning for school, it's so fun and you just like get to try speaking other languages. So let's just play a game. What should I write? Oh, yeah, we got this one. Okay, so. Spanish, but we did Spanish earlier on today, so that's the reason why it's set onto Spanish. But let's try Japanese. Never tried that. Okay, so let's give it a hair because I really want to show you how much I love this game. So. Instagram no at Mintachi official o otte. Okay, that's really weird. But I still love it because it's nice and you can learn a bit of words. So if you do meet people and say things like hello. So I really like this app. Last but not least, I have my favorite app, I think, on this iPhone. Yeah, the camera app. I don't know what I'll do if this phone didn't have a camera app. I mean, and so this is how I'm looking like for my iPhone. And they can actually shoot raw images too. So that's something nice of the iPhone 12. Ooh. The 12 Pro can shoot in Dolby Vision, which is really good, but the iPhone 12 doesn't have it, and I didn't think it was a big difference. You can change the exposure, so it can be really bright or really dark, and I think that's something nice. 
so you can change your exposure and it has so many different types of opinions on the way you can take a picture portrait is good and I'll show you a bit of them now so blur your background automatically it's natural light and it's nice and blurred so if you did ch check out my Instagram before I did take this picture with a camera but it's so good that's almost as clear as the camera and it blurs the background so good and then there's like this studio light um I think it's a bit better but like studio setup and then there's contour light and it's really good smooth into face and you have a stage light Ooh, so I'm in a stage apparently background is nice and black and you can't see anything else other than my head um, then I have the stage light mono and then the high key light mono looks weird but looks funny enough great and so I hope you friends enjoyed this video of me showing you what's on my iPhone 12 if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to put a thumbs up as well as to subscribe and ring that bell because then you'll be noticed each time I upload a brand new video or premiere. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and my name is Mintech Official. And I'll see you soon. Bye!